Hi everyone and welcome to this Simplify OpenTX quick tip. In the iNav FixWing group, Christopher Nielsen asked a question about how he can use a PAN servo with his TBS Tango 2. That transmitter doesn't actually have any sort of slider on it, but he does have two momentary switches. So what he wanted to do was have the momentary switches to move the PAN left and right, but without having to click the switch every time he wanted to move. So what I'm going to do is I've got a brand new clean model and this is based on the FreeSky X-Lite Pro because it has two momentary switches. So we can use SE and SF for this, for this example. So the first thing we're going to do is head to the flight modes and we're just going to create a global variable and we'll just call it pan and that is going to basically be the position of our servo. So if we create an output, say we put it on, I don't know, channel 12, I think. Let's we'll put it on 11 because you think usually LQ is on 12. So I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be crossfire because it's, um, yeah, it's a TBS Tango. So we put a pan on channel 11. So the next thing that we need to do is create some logical switches to actually do the magic. Now, the way we're going to set it up is so that you can turn the pan on and off and control the direction just using the momentary switches. So the first thing that we're going to do is check when both switches are being held together. So we need an AND and that is going to be SE in the down position and SF in the down position. And what we're going to do is put a delay on that of one second. So you need to hold them there for a second and we're going to set a duration for 0.1 of a second. So this switch will only be active for 0.1 of a second. It won't stay active. So now what we're going to do, this is basically going to be our pan on and off switch. So now what we need is something to to define when the pan is either on or off. And for that, we're going to use a simple sticky switch. And we're going to use logical switch one to turn the sticky on. And we're also going to use logical switch one to turn the sticky off. So now what we can do, if we go in the simulator, if I lock down SE, and then if I hold SF down for a second, it will turn logical switch two off. And now, oh sorry, on logical switch to on and now no matter what we do with these switches it will stay on so we can pan till our heart's content until we hold them both down for a second again and then it turns the pan off so that's that part working now what we need to do is uh, have the pan moves um, when we hold the switch down like like I said in the intro we don't want to keep flicking the switch to to operate the pan we just want it to work so the way we can do this is using two timers one to go left and one to go right so what we're going to do is set these to the smallest time we can get which is 0.1 of a second and then we only want them to be active when the momentary switch is active itself so this one if we do se to pan it to the left and then sf to pan it to the right so that's all we need for logical switches the next thing we need to do is um to actually set the outputs or sorry the um we're going to change the global variable so what we need to do is the first thing we're going to do is make sure it is the pan left. So when logical switch three is active, we're going to adjust global variable one and we're going to increment by minus two. Now, if you want it to work faster, you need to increase this number. If you want it to work slower, you need to decrease it. Minus one apparently is quite slow. I've not actually tried this on a, an actual model 
but in theory it all works and on the simulator it works but it's going to be personal preference of how quickly you want the servo to move so like i say if you want it to go twice as fast as that you do to minus four so and then just turn it on and now we're going to go for logical switch four which is the pan uh to the right again it's going to be increment and this is going to be four on the positive so it's negative to go left positive to go right and then we'll okay that and then finally what we need to do is so that when it's switched off so we want not logical switch to we're going to adjust it the global variable and we're just explicitly going to set it to zero which will center the servo so that's how we're going to adjust the variable and now what we need to do is set the output so in here we have a pan and what we're going to do is for the offset we're going to set it to global variable one pan so if we now simulate at the moment these won't do anything you see gv1 is not moving because it's switched off so if we switch it on there we go you'll now see that it's it's moving and you can see if i padlock it you'll see the servo is moving um to the left or to the right sorry and now it's moving to the left so you can see it's going quite slowly so as i say you'll need to to tweak the values to get it working how you actually want it working but if we switch it off you'll see that it centers that that servo so when it's switched off you if you just hold both buttons down for a second it will center the servo so there we go that's a, a nice quick simple way of getting a pan or a potentially a tilt with only using the two momentary switches when you haven't got access to a slider so I hope you guys found this quick tip useful. If there's anything you have an idea for, please leave a comment and I'll see if we can work out a solution. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great time out in this weather because it's absolutely amazing at the moment. Fly them like you stole them and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.